Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed. Hold on just a second while I adjust my camera. And, oh, I forgot to do this as well. Oh, shit. Just a second. There we go. All right. And... Uh, how have y'all been today? Y'all been doing good? I've been doing good. Hope y'all have had a great uh, weekend, as well as a great... Oh, shit. Beginning to your week. I dropped a thing one moment. There we go. Okay. Uh, before we get properly started, um, I am considering, <clears throat> I am considering taking a week off sometime this month. When exactly, I don't know. Uh, it's just that it's been a bit since I've had a prop since I've taken a break and, you know, it's kind of feeling like one of those is needed, but, you know, we'll figure that out in time. Ooh, that was a good bell, bell sound. Boom. Sorry, you can't hear it, but, ooh, I'm on top of Notre Dame. So anyway, Quasimodo working his, uh, working his magic. Anyway, um... So yeah, taking a break at some point, might be a week, might be a few days, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But um, it might, I might hold off until like the week before Spookmas, just so that I could go into Spookmas fresh. Um, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm still deciding. I might decide not to take one at all. We'll see. Anyway, uh, oh, before I forget, let me check to actually make sure you guys can fucking hear me. That would be important. Uh, yeah, you guys can hear me. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, um, do I have any other announcements? Not really. Uh, just check out this link tree. In that link tree, there's links to my socials, Discord, places you can follow me, places you can support me, so on and so forth. It would be great if you could actually, uh, you know, throw a coin to your Witcher, so to speak. Um, but... If not, that's perfectly fine as well. I know money is tough for everybody uh, right now, and you know, it is what it is. Anyway, um, uh, thinking. Yep, that's about all I got. So let's go ahead and get started. Get yeeted right on back into this. Okay. So we were building up to. Hold on, button, progress tracker. We, <clears throat> button, there we go. We were building up to sequence 10, two, which is the execution. Um, and I wanted to do some stuff before that. And that's why the last few streams or the last stream or so, we've been running around knocking out some of this extra stuff throughout here, like the, Helix, well, not the Helix Rifts, the Social Club missions, the Paris stories. Uh, we started the murder mysteries. I still haven't actually touched those. Nostradamus, we had a whole stream or two about Nostradamus, etc., etc., so on and so forth. Um, so we knocked out some of that shit. Now we're going to do one more thing. If I can find it, it's this one. Louis Dominique Bourguignon, known as the infamous highwayman Cartouche, has been thought long dead. An old assassin reveals to you that he is in fact Cartouche, and that the Templars have stolen his memoirs. Recover them. So, it's over there. Uh, shit, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so north is that way. That means this is to the south. Probably this one? No. 
This one. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna knock out some of this stuff. Oh, we're gonna knock out this one, then we'll do the execution. And then maybe we'll treat ourselves to some murder mysteries. Um, even though tech, I explained this in the previous, uh, in last week's stream, but the murder mysteries are oddly require, uh, oddly anachronistic because there's like three of them that take place around this point in time in the, in the timeline, um, in, in around 1793, but the majority of them, including the mission starter couldn't possibly take place before 1970 or 1796 you know so because they got because of who they have in charge you know things like that okay good we're good um so yeah we're gonna we're just gonna pop a uh, poke around those a bit and not try to take them too seriously which hurts me in this it hurts me inside to say that hello my friend what's the trouble monsieur you me we two are trouble in our own way no my name is cartouche do you know it i do indeed cartouche was a fighter for the people a lover of liberty and a bit of a crook and an assassin as well but he died decades ago, beaten to a pulp by the king's men. So forgive me if I am skeptical. Your doubt does you credit, but I have <clears throat> the proof. Only my memoir has been stolen by Templars, no less. We cannot let them keep the assassin's secrets written within. I'll recover these pages for you, citizen. If only to hear the wild conclusion of this utter cock and bull story. It's easy for anybody to claim they're an assassin when they're not in their robes, you know? Oh, come on. Arno. Fine, I'll go through the fucking gate. Boop -doop -doop. <laughs> Okay, well, apparently we're doing this straightforward because I wasn't paying attention. There you go, Arno. Whoa. No. No, 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 no. Fuck this shit, I'm out. This shit, I'm out. Oh, get bugs. And go die, ha ha he. Where's he bloody gone off?
on, Arno. Slash the thing. Arno. Oh. No, my from Shank. Did you find? Alert! Alert! Par ici! Wink. Bum ba da 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 ba ba. Pee 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 pee. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump my mic there. Sorry, sir. Tequila! Okay, fine. What is happening right now? There you go, Arno. We're just reloading. No need to panic. 
We're just reloading. Ha 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 ha. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, man. But up, but da da up, but up, but da da up, but up, but da but up, 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 Tequila, but it put a 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 put he passed these to my predecessor, an assassin like myself, who also <laughs> took the name of Cartouche. I have carried on the work of my forebears, filching from the wealthy to feed the impoverished, and I applied my trade well. Yet here, I find myself an old man, stretched thin and slowed by time, eager to find another to carry on my work and bear the name Cartouche into a new century. I see. And am I the lucky inheritor? I find you a worthy candidate, to be sure. Yeah, it is some Dread Pirate Roberts shit. Progress and make my decision another day. Uh, to my recollection, he does not actually... Arno does not actually become the next cartouche uh, in Assassin's Creed lore. But um, he was one of the candidates, for sure. For sure. For sure. Bum ba da dee da bum bum. Ba dum ba da 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 bum. Ba da ba dee da o. Ba da ba da ba ba be do. Ba da ba dee da o. I am fucking blind. Where is the mission? Bum ba da 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 bum. Where is the main mission? Where's the mission? <laughs> oh, right there, hiding. Right there. All righty. How are you doing, Yvonne, by the way? Would it be dramatic to say weeping and gnashing of teeth? Depends, is it accurate? Tent 
chance of loss? What happened? Is it something that I should have, that I should know about, that I, or that I do know about, I mean, that I'm forgetting about? Oh, oh, the thing that we were talking about with me before, right. Yeah, no, that's fair. Oh, hey. Now let's, 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 uh, let's, let's have a nice chat with our beautiful, uh, girlfriend, Elise. Who nothing bad will ever happen to ever in our in eternity. Up down. Are you sure Germain will be there? Yes, I'm sure. Then what are we waiting for? Let's split up. We'll cover more ground that way. Game's been out for like a decade now. There's no reason for you guys to be worrying about spoilers. <laughs> Bring forth the condemned. And I said like a decade. Been out for like five, half a decade, six years. Long enough. Long enough. Okay, explore the area, create opportunities. There are two collectibles, eight hiding spots, and 53 guards. Whew. Except I'm pretty sure there aren't collectibles because I collected them all. I could be wrong. Like a decade. Well, like means similar to not exactly. Thank <laughs> you. 
coming. Okay, so that's the two, that's the bonus. Now then. Uh, I don't see any kind of specialty shit. So let's check this out. Just gonna yeet. I mean, watch me though. You won't lose us that way, dog. Except watch me though. Where's your man? There's your man. Too far away from him? Okay, well, there's this here. Hi, my here, dude. Brother. Hold on, busy. There he is. Ah, fuck, there's no way up to him from down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. Hmm, regret. Okay, so let's actually go back the way we came up or came down. This way. There we go. Like it's a damn maze down here. Oh. <laughs> Yvonne, did you rem did you remember to actually eat and stuff? You did? Good. Hello, Arno. Monsieur Germain. It's fitting you are here to witness the rebirth of the Templar Order. After all, you were there I'll for the conception. To Pasha. Monsieur de la Serre. Ah, I tried to make him see. But the Order had become corrupt, touching at power and privilege for their own sake. But you could set it right. Is that it? All by killing the man in charge. Oh, de la Serre's death was only the first stage. This is the culmination. Hey, Even I die innocent, gentlemen, I am innocent of everything I have been charged with. My wish and hope is that my blood may consolidate the well-being of the French people. Must it pass in the last hour? Symbol can inspire fear, and fear can inspire control, but men inevitably lose their fear of symbols, as you can see. This was the truth de Molay died for. The divine right of kings is nothing but the reflection of sunlight upon gold. And the crown church are ground to dust. We who control the gold okay. will decide the future. I think they actually show it. You're good. Is it Vanger? He's done. 
kind of. I must take my leave. Good day to you. Kill him. Okay, now it's done. Go! Quite an entrance. What are you doing? Go after him! I'm not leaving you here to die. Yvonne, were you... You're back, maybe? Was it because of... Was it because of the, uh, guillotine thing? Or is something else happening? Like, are you not feeling well or something? The execution? Okay, yeah. That part's over. Elise, it's time to go. So many on your own. Pressing concern at the moment. Elise! He's gone. Damn it! Our one chance! It's not over. We'll find another lead. No, we won't. You think he'll be so careless now, knowing how close at heel we are? You were given a golden opportunity to end his life, and you refused to take it. To save your life? It isn't yours to save! What are you saying? I'm willing to risk everything to put Jama down. If you don't have the stomach for revenge, then I don't need your help. Elise. Elise! Okay, well... The ground execution, I believe, was what I was saving for, but let's double check everything else. Improved Phantom Blade. <sighs> I mean, that is high on the list. So is the Poison Bombs. I have all of those. I'm not in a hurry for either of those, or any of those, I mean. So let's, uh, yeah, let's get the ground execution. Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 
Schneider. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so, uh, let's do a murder mystery. Treat ourselves a little bit. Um, actually, no. No, let's finish sequence 10 and then treat ourselves. That's what we'll do. Moida! Good day to you, sir. Good day to you, sir. I need to check something upstairs real quick. Um right uh, go over here you yeah, have a training for me staggering strike is complete ground execution okay the ground execution next. uh pardon Serve you well. <laughs> okay. I mean, I've already been doing that, but okay. <clears throat> okay, then. Uh, the other thing, there was another thing I wanted to check. It was over here. No new letters. Dearest Paris. Dear Arno. Oh, Arno. I hope I know yeah. what I'm doing. No new no new letters from Elise. Now this changes clothes, right? Right. Player level. looking for is not where I thought it was so it must be downstairs a bit. oh my god Arno down the stairs thank you sir what does this do again contacts nope uh there's the intendant study or office actually this was a place where we got some extra shit um what is this? Floor of the cafe. That's what I'm looking for, I think. Put that away. That's not fully what I wanted, but <laughs> like I said, it's not fully what I wanted. It's what I wanted, just not fully. You are well? Citizen. How are you, friend? How are you, friend? <clears throat> Why? 
What in God's name happened at the Place de la Révolution today? Germain was there, and I know what his plan is. You have to... You were told to leave that investigation to others. Yes, but listen. Yes, but listen. Is that the regard in which you hold the Brotherhood? I knew this would happen. I told Mirabeau that you were too obsessed with your personal vendettas. This is why I joined the Brotherhood. Yes, not because you shared our ideas or felt called to the service. For revenge. For redemption. Call it what you will. You've defied the orders of this council repeatedly. Pursued targets without sanction. And flouted our creed at every step. After At every step. In light of these actions, I find I have no choice but to call for a vote of expulsion. Master Bellier. Agreed. What are you... Master Kimar. Agreed. Arno Dorian, you are attainted. Your rank and title are stripped from you, and you are hereby exiled from the Brotherhood of Paris. You cannot be serious. Listen, I know what Germain is doing. I can stop him. The decision of this council is final. We give you leave to go. Versailles, June 4th, 1793, and they don't mean the palace of, they mean the area of, specifically the Delacere mansion. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah, so was that last night? Twelve hours ago. <laughs> enough trouble for one night fine I'll procure my wine in some other fashion Fascinating. Fox in the bleeding ah. house. What was that? Halt! Stay there, you! I'll have you dead in your tracks. You can't escape. Oh boy, this is getting wibbly. <laughs> All right, sorry, Yvonne. What I was gonna say is that it's fascinating that um, when I go into Eagle Vision with Arno, he starts getting a headache and it's like sharp. Like being drunk doesn't go well with Eagle Vision or something. Oh God, that that was unpleasant. Watch the 
bleeding. Bust now! Bloody big bang for such a little bomb. He pissed off in a hurry. You're no ah! You're mine. You last night. Maybe I left it there. Okay. The drunk part is done. Oh, that was un that was genuinely un unpleasant even for me. still uh, 'ing in pain when using the eagle vision because of being hung over and stuff is genuinely a clever a clever touched you know Cartouche, not, like to consider, got into a fight. not to be confused with cartouche. Oh Christ, not you again. Didn't do enough damage last night. No, I, I just... My father's watch, have you seen it? I see nothing. Might want to ask one of the four men you picked a fight with, idiot. Warning, might get wishy-washy again. You don't want to do that, boy. Piss off, old man. 
drunk but none of the warnings are up so you have to rely on your uh the visual Flashback done. You can come back, Yvonne, at least for now. You. Uh, where's your boss? Oh, shit. No. Get back here. I don't think it will flash back anymore because I think it was just the two, but I could be wrong. Where? The palace! The Red of Palace! Thank you. Now we're at the proper Versailles Palace. Oh, fuck me. Poison kills. I do not have a way to poison. So I guess I'll have to replay this later. One investigate. That's not right. I was just behind you. It was a ghost. Come check it out. Wasting my bleeding time. Come on. Some Come here, dumbass.
I doubt this will count as a poison kill, but I'll try it. Hey, you there! Stop! Nah. Nah, that's berserk. Even though technically it's a poison, but it's berserk. Okay. Ow. Oh, he's flashing back to following Elise. Uh, cause she had a pa she had a party at Versailles at the start of the game. And so he's flashing back to that. Around, bumping around, bumping around, bumping around. Thanks. Yep, I'm gonna kill you in, in your piss. There you go. Enjoy. Well, what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were a worse one. Uh. Oh.
yard. Is that me? Looks like it. Not dreaming. Under it, die! <laughs> Just and this here. is I will return when this hand reaches the top. And this is the hallway he last saw his father in. No exploring. Hmm? Oh no. Oh. You look like hell. You look like you want something from me. That's a fine thing to say after you up and vanished. You made it fairly clear you no longer required my services. Don't. Don't you dare talk to me like that. What do you expect me to say, Elise? Forgive me? For not letting you die? I'm sorry that I care more about you than about killing Germain. I thought we wanted the same thing. What I wanted was you. I can't bear the fact that my carelessness got your father killed. Everything I've done since then has been to fix that mistake. And to prevent it from happening again. You must have come here with something in mind. What was it? Paris is tearing itself apart. Germain has driven the revolution to new heights of depravity. The guillotines operate nearly around the clock now. And what do you expect me to do about it? The Arno I love wouldn't have to ask that question. You're better than this. I'm going back to Paris. Are you coming? There's one last thing I need to do. All right. I'll go see to our transportation. Stay out of trouble. Don't get caught.
man, that's a good question, Yvonne. Um... <clears throat> Look what you've gotten us into now. Shut up in there! So... This is what France has come to. Parasites! Bleen the revolution! We're gonna pause it real, right there real quick. Is he even allowed to wear that? Um... Technically, no. Technically, no. However, because the, this specific outfit is not the... The way I justify it... The way I justify it is that the robes... The, the outfit that Arno is wearing is not the standard uniform of the era for the for the brotherhood uh it's his own take on it essentially um and so you know um I mean, he might get away with it but also he has he still has his uh hidden blade and I feel like there's a ch a chance, not a chance. Uh, I feel like there is an argument for the assassins to approach it at, approach the thought of an exiled me member of their order being of their brotherhood being kind of like how a burned spy is. Um, you can't take away the training. You could try to take away their weapons and their gear, but they're talented and well-trained enough that they could probably get their own shit anyway. So, like, all you can really do is freeze them out of their contacts. Their contacts and their support, you know? So basically, he's kind of the equivalent of, like, a burned spy out in the wind without the brotherhood as the umbrella that protects him <clears throat> right yeah if i feel like the brotherhood would have ended his shit if his if he had been like if he'd actively betrayed them you know like if he had been active like a double agent or something like that then I, then they would have killed him but i feel like it was just a you've broken our creed so be gone you know and i also feel like that <coughs> for the first time in a while right <coughs> actually not the first time in a while the last 3 games of assassin's creed have been focused on characters that are not in actively in the leadership um of the brotherhood so we've got uh edward kenway who was an outsider who took the robes who killed an a, a betrayed a betraying assassin um took their robes and their weapons and eventually became a part of the order then we end a high-ranking individual and then we had Shay Cormac, who was a low tier assassin who betrayed the order because he was not in the know. <clears throat> and now we have Arno, who is a relatively low tier assassin who has been doing his own thing while kind of flaunting the rules of the order of the brotherhood and they've kind of let him get away with it for so long as he was still useful to them so we don't actually know but with the with the whole he had Jermaine in front of him and let him go but all, i feel like if he'd successfully killed Jermaine they would not they would have chastised him but they wouldn't have kicked him out right but because of the fact that he approached Jermaine let him live 
and then proceeded to uh result in uh, which resulted in Jermaine's guard being up because he's aware that the he's now aware that the assassins have their eye on him and know who he is <clears throat> um because of that that can that was kind of like a last straw but on top of that i feel like there's a part of them who are saying kind of the who, the leadership are kind of saying like he's gonna pursue this thing whether we whether we stop him or not right he's obviously going to do whatever he wants whether we stop him or not we want Jermaine to die we want him taken down we want him stopped but we also have to send a message that we do we that the brotherhood does not uh the brotherhood does not allow Arno's behavior, the kind of behavior like Arno's to um, happen. That they take that kind of shit seriously. You know? That it can't exist without punishment. So I feel like his expulsion from the Order, from the Brotherhood, I mean, was a bit more of a uh performative measure like uh we gotta spank you we gotta spank you you did a bad thing and you failed at doing that bad thing so we gotta spank you but you're still useful you're still gonna do this thing we want you to do we just can't get our hands dirty on it in the way that you can or uh, and are willing to you know, so we're just going to put you out there where you don't have to worry about our rules. Let Arno out there do his own thing. You know, maybe he kills Jermaine. Maybe he gets himself killed. Maybe he just fades off into the sunset. Either way, any of those three ways, Arno is no longer the problem of the assassins. And there's about a there's a one in three chance that a big old problem of the assassins is taken care of, you know? So I, I, that's why I feel like they didn't punish him more severely and actually take his shit. Um, and you know, things like that, but that, that could just be me reading into it a bit. Dry. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I wasn't just pausing for that rant. Uh... Okay, I needed to do that real quick on that other screen back there. And also, while we're paused, we're going to take a break. Take a bathroom break, uh, come back in a bit, get more to drink if you need it, etc., etc., etc. We'll be back. We'll be back in a bit. Don't go anywhere.
Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, I uh, needed to go take care of some stuff, but we're back. Let's uh, dive back on into this, shall we? Thanks, Rose. Thanks, Yvonne. All right, there's a unique kill and 10 hiding spots with 35 guards. Okay. Assassinate Latouche. Okay. I have to get three headshots. Whoa, three headshots. One. Oop, careful, Arno. Fill some shit. All right, we need one more headshot. There's a guy right there. Okay. Three headshots. Okay. I'm gonna just drop on this guy. Okay. Now. Now, 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 now. Come over here. Refill because we can. All right, four cover kills. Okay. There's a person over here by looks to be by himself. just saw one flash just a second there we go all right are you patrolling no you're not patrolling okay oh hi sir you're caught in the event so let's go ahead and do that and then yeet myself into the distance out Disappeared. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna. <laughs> oh no! I'm so slow. You won't save me, you bastard! Now I've got you. I'll flip you, turtle. Ow! Oh no, I can't run with that shot in my me. shoulder. So how you doing, Rose? How's your day going? Shit, talking mushrooms. Come here. There we go. No, no. Scenery, Arno. Second, what is this? Let's check. Let's check that out first. Well, this one out, I mean. So there is still a sniper up here. 
Let's end him. Over there. Drop, Arno. Oh, shake up, Zetub. No stairs. to help the door not a problem oh, i don't want to die in here come here oh shit you won't let me lose me it's fine Come on, Arno. Drop. Shank. Don't mind me, man. You're gonna have a bit of a mess to clean up. Apologies. Send the bill to the Assassin's or or Brotherhood. I'm sure they'll put it for you. All right, so this is the this is the assassin the unique assassination option. Um, but I want to get the assistance first. So let's see what I can do there before I. Oh hi. You saw nothing. Come inside out of the sun. Okay. Oh, Arno, Jesus. Oh, 
Okay, what does that mean, though? What does crowd assistance entail? Shoot, hi. lowered the okay i see it shrank the restricted area clever okay the crowd shrank the restricted area i didn't realize that okay okay now let's go open that cell pardon me fellas How am I not anonymous? There we go. What's this then? I believe it's called a rescue. Why? Because being a thick-headed man-mountain while doing little enough for your long-term prospects is not actually a capital offense. I love it that the that it's the two that were bullying him earlier in the game, the two that he kept swindling and chase and that kept chasing him down at the start of the game. Oh. Just Stay back and let me go first. Next! Let's go. Don't I know you, boy? I doubt it. Oh, no, I do. You're the town trump. Trap him in! I'm... Oh, God, I suppose I'm Trap him in! <laughs> Is that... Is that... I do know you. You're the town drunk. I, I am not. Oh, damn. I suppose I am actually. I love that moment. Fired. But why? Because, Monsieur Latouche, your last report contained numerous errors. Sir, I, I triple checked those figures. They're not in error. 10,000 livres simply vanished from His Majesty's treasury. I'm sorry, Latouche. Good day. Monsieur Latouche, they tell me you are a tax man. Yes, sir. Good. I have need of someone like you. This parasite is plain and simple. What's that mean? It means greedy bastards skimming for themselves instead of doing their jobs. If you knew, Half the shit, our boss is right here. Tell me about this boss of yours. Very well. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May the Father, Father of Understanding guide us. Um, what would you have me do, my master? I'm placing your services at the disposal of our agent on the convention. The Peltier? Our Peltier has his uses, but he's not our only friend in government. Monsieur Latouche. I present to you, Monsieur Maximilien de Robespierre. Monsieur, I understand Versailles is overrun with parasites. Shock. Oh, no. Such shock. Shock Pikachu face. This is my patriotic future! Also, the way that Germain pronounced Latouche 
made it sound like Latouche, and now I'm just going, so his name's The Ass. Got it. The bo the booty. Da booty, da booty, oh, oh, da booty. Damn it. They're on to us again. It's not best time, is it? I'm on it. Two seconds. Okay, we're close, Initiate. Arno and Germain had some kind of confrontation within the next few months, but we don't know where or how it ended. We're counting on you to find out. Got it. The portal's open. If all goes well, this is your last force migration. Yeah, and if it doesn't go so well, you could go into Hippocampal shock and take your meals through an IV for the rest of your life. Let's not dwell on that, shall we? Oh, joy. Give me a second. Um, okay. Sorry, I was just checking something on my notes. Okay. This might look familiar to you. We're back in medieval Paris, late 14th century. You're outside the city walls now. I suggest you find your way back. So in Roots of Pacha, you just proposed to your girlfriend and she said yes. And the ceremony is in four days. Awesome. But your place is shit. Well, I mean, that's up. That's your fault for jumping the bun, jumping the bun like that. Jumping the bun like that. Yeah, I guess I'm going to stick with that. One. Jumping the butt. He jumped to the bun. The bunny, the bunny, ooh, ooh, the bunny, the bunny, the ooh, bunny, ooh, I love the bunny, the bunny, the bunny, ooh, ooh, the bunny. The is falling apart. Find the exit fast. Ow. I don't love my mom. Oh, my dad, just the bunny, the bunny. The bunny. Oh, I love the bunny. It was the perfect moment. Well, then you got four days to get your shit together, girl. Bunny. The bunny. Ooh. 
Ooh, bunny. This just in, that song was about booty. The booty. Why did this feel so familiar? It's <laughs> real life. There. Or are you talking about the game? My game. This, this. The booty. The booty. Oh, oh, the booty. The booty. The booty. Oh, oh, the booty. Follow my voice. Get to the exit your, quickly. Your voice is kind of omnipresent. Bishop. Yikes! Things have changed a great deal since you left Paris. A great deal to be set right. And we're no closer to finding Germain. That's not entirely true. I have a name. Who? Robespierre. Okay, so before we... Hold on. Let me check this real quick. Okay. So yeah, before we do the next mission, we have a decent bit we need to cover. So... Time is it? Nine? Okay. First things first. Let us do. Sorry, I had to make sure that that was the one I wanted to do. Okay. 
Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. Sorry, I can feel a cough originating in the back of my throat. <coughs> I was trying to head it off at the pass. I'm aware that you're deeply concerned with justice and so forth. Hello, Maki Desad. There's a man, Rignon, who operates a string of brothels just north of here. Imposes horrendous working conditions on his girls. Things would improve markedly if you were to <coughs> send him to eternal banishment. <coughs> What's in it for you? Oh, cynicism does not become you, dear boy. Let us say that should Grignon's collection of delectable damsels find themselves without a patron, well, my kingdom would necessarily expand, wouldn't it? There he is. Reunion. Okay, so Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Sorry, I had to make a decision and I was trying to consider whether or not I should do it. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, because the next things that happen chronologically are several of the, or a couple of the murder mysteries um, that we have to complete in order, you know, so we have to start with this one. 
um we are going to do those uh up until the two that are done that are in the way are done oh hey matt <coughs> How you doing, my dude? You're just in time for some murder my mysteries. Why are you nervous? Because your brain is uh, like goes so in on this character is me when I'm playing the game that you uh, feel the emotions that your character does. Oh, wait, was I not supposed to tell you the truth? <laughs> A guide for bringing forth justice. If you want to solve crimes, you can't just wander in and throw the uh, throw the first suspicious person you meet into jail. Well, you can, but you'll almost always get the wrong person. Look, you're going to have to get serious and have a comprehensive system to sort out who did it, why, and how. I'm going to make it easy for you and list the basics right here. Read those over, then go out and nab the murderer. Everything you discover will be kept in a case file. Look there to review what you've learned. Everything all every, examine all clues and speak to all witnesses. Use your eyes and ears. Some clues will lead you to new places. Don't be lazy. Go there and look for more clues. I love that they have to say don't be lazy. <laughs> <coughs> Review your case file. Use your head. Which suspect had the ability, means, and motive? When you know that only one suspect could have done the crime, return to the murderer and accuse them. Something kind of creepy about monks. Closed up like that in a big building. Sometimes that's hard on people. Better check out the monastery here on the island, though. Why is it the truth? Because you're Yvonne B. Okay. Well, your brother's stupid for doing that. Because getting into the stuff is the fun part. The story, the emotions, the feelings, the experiences. 
That's the point of video games. And if you don't enjoy that, and you then you're in the you're doing the wrong thing. <clears throat> a dead monk, Friar Jean. Strangled with a rose a strand of rosary beads. He appears to have fallen from his chair while writing at his desk. Come on, go away. Okay, so it's just the same thing again. Body of Friar Bernard, an older monk lying dead in his bed. His features are sallow and his face is ashen gray. You were swearing vengeance for your character and dead or alive too. Very dramatically. Yeah. And? S so? <laughs> What's your point? An older monk lying dead in his bed with his... Okay, so we've got a couple sallow, ashen faces. <clears throat> okay. And who are you? Friar Stanislas, Bernard, and even the respected Friar Benoit. And then Friar Jean, all dead. It passeth all understanding. Three monks survive, praise God. But I dare not think. Is it possible that the murderer is one of them? Bah, ridiculous. Which of them would be capable of such an atrocity? personal effects of note is an enormous book filled with intriguing quatrains the prophecies by Nostradamus okay so Friar on Honore had Nostradamus stuff in his possession monastery property of Friar Jean. Personal effects also at the bottom of the chest, a single page torn from a book. The seven branches will be reduced to three. The elder ones surprised by death, the two seduced to fratricide, the conspirators will die as they sleep. Nostradamus. Hmm... Crumpled paper. Clenched in the monk's dead fist is a crumpled bit of paper, apparently torn from a diary. It reads, Guilty. I have poisoned them. He claimed it was God's will that I do so because of the prediction, but I cannot escape my guilt. I am a murderer. I must confess everything right this minute before the note is unfinished. I'm thinking the abbot did it. Well, let's go talk downstairs. Or go look at some stuff downstairs. So much happened. First, the death of the elder monks. Friar Jean served them wine, and they immediately became very tired. They went to bed and couldn't be roused. I ran to the doctor. When I came back, what did I find? They were all dead. And there's Friar Jean, strangled at his desk. Okay. Over there, starting the fire he was. A fire, here in the vineyard. 
Well, I yelled at him to get on out of there, and he ran off. Let me get to the fire, damn it. Partially burnt diary. <clears throat> Poisoned the cask of wine, but I served it. If he knew what that I'm about to confess, he would not hesitate to murder me himself. Oh, curse the day the predictions of Nostradamus ever came into Honore's possession. He is quite mad, and he has driven me to madness, but I am. Drop Arno. I have two more clues, it looks like. I am very worried about Friar Honoré. He and Friar Jean were quite close. I fear Jean's murder has affected Honoré's sanity. Uh, your point is that you can see how an 18 year old looking at his eight year old sis little sister might be freaked out by it. I'm going to do you and your family the favor of not expressing my opinions on on such matters publicly on the internet. will cannot be understood by mortal man. We search and pray and do the best we can. Small hints can be discerned, say, in the writings of prophets. I believe Nostradamus is one. <sighs> okay. Hey, Yvonne. Are you at a point where you can jump into Discord with me? Like I am, but also, what? Do you want to help me solve a murder? No. You sure? Yes. Do you want to help me solve a murder? No. But the people are dead. Yeah. So, uh, solving the murder is not going to bring them back. But justice should be done to those who perpetrated all of these deaths! Oh my god. <laughs> I we still don't used want to, to be best buddies! Oh my and god! We're not. Oh, Jesus <laughs> I Christ. I wish you could tell me why! You are so dramatic! <laughs> Do you want to help solve a murder? No, I don't. It has to be this murder. So I really don't. Okay, bye. Bye, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, don't mind me knocking over my fucking ring light and turning off my monitor. <laughs> what the fuck? Stand upright, you stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Sorry, things just went incredibly wibbly for a second. Hold on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fine, since Yvonne is no fun. Friar Jean strangled excuse me, with a strand of, God, ah. strangled with a strand of rosary beads. <sighs> he appears to have fallen from his chair while writing at a desk. There are the three bodies of the friars that were poisoned by, by wine. <sighs> Jean was feeling guilty and was about to confess that had something to that the and we can gain glean from his 
writings that Nostradamus had to do with it. Honore has a book from Nostradamus. Friar Jean had a ripped out page with the uh, with the specific quatrain that said the seven branches will be reduced to three. The elder ones surprised by death, the two seduced to fratricide, and the conspirators will die as they sleep. Um, the statement of Friar Benedict noted that the three dead monks dead on their beds were the elders of the order. They became ill after Friar Jean served them wine and went to sleep. When they could not be woken, Benedict went for a doctor. Upon his return, he found Friar Jean strangled at his desk. Friar Honore believes Nostradamus is a prophet. Friar Joseph claims Friar Honore and Friar Jean were friends. Expresses concern that the murders have affected Honore's sanity. Statement from the abbot. The abbot noted that Friar's Benoit, Stan Stanislas, Bernard, and Jean are now dead. Three others remain alive. Refuse to believe one of those could have killed the others. Statement of the vineyard worker. Saw a monk starting a fire and yelled at him, but was unable to identify the monk. Okay. All right. So we have 13 of 13 clues, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's everything. So one of the things I need to look at is he was strangled with a rosary. Okay, stop being golden so I can look at you for a second. Okay. I think he's still got a rosary on him, I'm not sure. I don't think it was Benedict, but it might have been. No, no visible rosary. <sighs> Sorry, move. Get out of my way. I'm in the wrong place. Is there it doesn't appear to be any other <coughs> investigation area I want I would hmm. everything points to Honore that may not be the case the abbot doesn't have a visible Rosary, but I can't seem to accuse him. It has to be one of the three monks. Everything points to Honore. So I'm going to accuse Honor Honore. And since there didn't seem to be any visible difference between the three monks, and it doesn't look like I can accuse anybody else, and it looks like I have all of the clues, I'm going to go with Honore. And this was Honore. Yep. God's will cannot be understood by mortal man. We search and pray and do the best we can. 
Small hints can be discerned, say, in the writings of prophets. I believe Nostradamus is one. The conspirators were foretold to die in their sleep. Jean was victim of a fratricide. Is it murder to fulfill a prophecy? Yes. <laughs> well, he confessed, so that makes it's it... It's all coming true, I tell you. Even this... He's a bit of his nut, if you ask me. Arrest the madman. Nine times out of ten, you're right. Go ahead. Yay! Culprit found with no false accusation. Do you want to solve a murder? Do, 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 do. Ah, okay. So it looks like the only murder mysteries that are actually available are the two that take place right about now. So that's good. So I just had to do the one as the tutorial. That makes sense. Okay, so we'll do... Killed by science first. Uh, excuse me. Do you want to help solve a murder? Do, 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 do. We used to be best detectives, but now we're not. I wish you could tell me why. Do you want to solve a murder? It'd have to be this murder. Okay, bye. <laughs> Why am I so fucking proud of that? Killed by science. Alexandra Wasak in his 30s, nicely dressed. A gaping hole pierces completely through his chest from front to back. Concerns abound. Uh, he was a surprise. He has a surprised expression on his face. Do such a thing. Oh, my poor Alexandre. All right, we'll talk to the grieving I person. I arrived at the a stroke of and then a cannon suddenly fired. He was instantly killed. As far as I know, he hadn't an enemy in the world. Okay. Who the fuck I come are you? by every day to set my pocket watch. I saw the young man waiting over there, holding a bouquet of flowers. Then, bam! Very upsetting, as you can imagine. I did notice one thing. The cannon usually points in a different direction. Ah! So, okay. For, not everybody may know this, but there is this device. It's basically every day the sun shines in just the right place to be magnified by this lens and then light the fuse of this little tiny cannon. And it had been, and it, and it does it every day, um, like a clock. And um, so apparently it got moved. The solar cannon, that's what it's called. <clears throat> the, fo the famous solar cannon of the Palais Royal. Smoke is still wafting from its barrel at the base of its pedestal. The name of the inventor and manufacturer is engraved. Robert Rousseau, clockmaker, 12 Galerie de Valois, Palais Royal. All right. So I could probably go talk to him, but first let's read this. Park personal letter. Appears to have been dropped by the victim. Dear Alexandra, 
it is with great joy and excitement that I accept your invitation to meet on the 13th therm Thermidor at exactly noon. At noon, exactly near the famous cannon in the Palais Royal. On the letter is the recipient's address, 7, seven Rue de la... Yeah, that. Okay. All right, we talk to him. Who last the fuck are you? Night, I did manage to wake up, and I swear I saw somebody fiddling with a cannon. Then he limped away. Cripple, I guess. Ah, come to. Okay. Hey, good looking. Hey, good looking. The murder. I feel sorry for the poor guy, but <laughs> it was a real show. Pretty much blew a giant hole in him. You know who you should talk to? Sergeant saint -Brie. He's the veteran loads that cannon every morning. Check Café Février. Table by the window. Okay. Alright. The bouquet? A park... Uh, a bouquet. A uh, charming bouquet of fresh flowers. Uh, okay. Alright. Is it a location a numero uh is it upstairs yes looks like it's upstairs okay a laboratory laboratory There's a scientific apparatus. Ah, my nose! Ah. Beakers, scales, thermometers, distillation supplies, various compounds, etc. Laboratory vials, a container of silver rocks marked elemental potassium. Okay. Oh, there's a thing over here. Let's look at that. I missed that. Okay. Come on, pick it. Victim's house, competition handbill. Scientific competition. The Academy of Sciences announces a patriotic competition. The winner shall be that chemist who demonstrates a workable method of increasing the stability of explosive powders. The winning method will be used in service or the valorous are in service or the valorous armies of the republic probably for the valorous anyway. entrance must apply to prefect citizen jagno at the college de quat nations college of four nations uh the winner to be announced the 18th um okay Come on, let me interact with this stuff. Barrels. Several barrels labeled water directly above the table. That's a lot of fucking water, man. Shit. The large pane has a crack of huge concentric circles. At the center is an embedded military grade projectile, which appears to have been fired from the gardens below. However, it failed to completely pierce the window. Okay. All right. One more thing here. Laboratory notes. The front cover is inscribed Gaspard Monch, I guess. Uh, the book is full of scribbled formulas. At the bottom of one page is written, I believe I have the answer. The prize shall certainly be mine. By the way, how many of those do I have? Five, okay. Okay, hold on. Up in six. Okay. All right. Oh, I didn't look down here to see if uh, I had all of the clues here. Yes, eight of eight. Okay.
Okay. I come here quite often. I was here this morning, in fact. It's the only time I've seen someone sitting with the sergeant over there. As it happens, I recognize the man. I served under him as a fusilier. Colonel de Trollois. As it happens, I think I know the man from the army days. I don't recall the name, but I believe he became a scientist of some sort. He may actually work at the Collège de Quatre Nations. Damn it, I miss the old thing. Nah, otherwise today pretty much like any other. Unless you count the old colonel who come living in early this morning, had a coffee with a sergeant. They seem like old pals. A colonel and a sergeant. I am Sergeant Sandry, veteran of the Corsican campaign. And I don't take kindly to jokes, young man. It is my honor and duty to load that damn solar contraption every damn morning. I load it with scraps of paper. Paper! Couldn't hurt a child. The day was a day like any other. Now, leave me alone. Hmm. <sighs> there is a, bark of, a, bo a box of cartridges, of military grade blank cartridges. Oh. Hmm. All right. Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I heard the shot and all the screaming. I'm the inventor of that cannon, you know. Quite ingenious, I think. Unfortunate business, the killing, but it will bring attention to my invention. I mean... Technically, he's not wrong. All right. We have two locations left. Uh, we'll go to the left one and the right one because left one is slightly closer. Time to kill the crooks. on a roof on a building come on arno drop drop there we go jesus okay oh so we've got a mysterious man talking to the guy who normally loads the the gun with paper hmm We have Victim's house letter from victim's friend. I suggest a romantic lunch in the Palais Royale a daytime tete a tete is always uh, Fresh and invigorating meet her at the park just as the solar cannon is to fire that would surely be an exciting start to the, any rendezvous. The competition handbill. <laughs> Threatening letter. Just remember, Alexandre. That if I were ever to discover or even suspect that you were seeing someone else, I would not take it well. Be warned then, my love, for you... My, be warned then, my love for you is that strong. Okay, so potential uh, jilted ex-lover or cheated on lover? Or possibly even just a delusional. 
person. Uh, letter from victim's father. I admonish you, dear son. It is no virtue to simply proceed as if all will be well. Unless we all work behind the scenes as best we can, the monarchy will never be reinstated and the entire country will drift into fractious civil wars. So father didn't like him how he chose to live his life. Okay. I don't think that's murder motive. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. All right. Oh, shit, this is a long way to go. Ow! Where's the bridge? Ugh. Okay, I'm close to the bridge. Pardon me, coming through. My chest is so full. Okay. Well, if it isn't the best barkeep in town. The Academy. Take care to speak to Citizen de Frolois with the greatest respect. He is a veteran of the Corsican campaign, and his military prowess is only matched by his scientific expertise in chemistry and ballistics. Okay, so he's an expert in ballistics. My time is much too important to answer impertinent questions. Address yourself to my aide de camp. There's a list of competitors. Official contenders for the gunpowder formula. Oh my god. Fine, I'll look at it after I talk to this fucker. Go away so I can look at this thing. Thank you. Official con uh, contenders for the gunpowder formula competition. Antoine Laurent de la Vossier. Gaspard Monger. Frolois. And our victim, Rousseau. Good morning, citizen. I'm afraid that we cannot accept any more entries into the contest. However, you can still make a monetary pledge to the revolutionary cause. Just sign here. Okay, so... <clears throat> I've been here. 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 So two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. Whoever you are, take care to speak to Sid Blois with the greatest respect. He okay. Um, database. Case files. Killed by science. Okay. Uh, we know that... 
Prolois and Rousseau were competitors. No more entrance could be had. Prolois refused to speak to me, and he, but he uses a cane to walk. Claims Frolwa is a veteran of the Corsican campaign. Claims Frolwa is an expert in chemistry and ballistics. Okay. Box of military grade blank cartridges. Bon Brie, veteran. Loads the solar cannon each morning with blanks. And he's from the same campaign that Frolwa was. And we have a witness who puts who puts Frolwa at the same cafe meeting with the sergeant. Saw Sambri talking to someone he recognized from his army days, didn't know name, but believes the man became a scientist at the College de Quatrations. Like, in other words, Frolwa. Yeah. Uh, server at the cafe. Uh, the day was like any other, except with the exception of a limping veteran who had coffee with Saint Brie. So yeah, limping walks with a cane. Okay. They were old friends, which tracks. Statement of Robert Rousseau, the inventor, invented the solar cannon, but did not seem very upset by the killing. He uses a cane as well. Interesting. Several barrels labeled water were directly above the table of the, in the lab. Large pane has a crack of huge concentric circles. At the center is an embedded military grade projectile. So we know it wasn't a blank. cover is inscribed by as Gaspard Monge who is also one of the con contestants as I recall um, Alexandre Loisac Actually, hold on a second. So, our act actually, our victim is not one of the competitors. However, Gaspar Monge is. The window that was supposed to be pierced. Oh. Okay. Person who inter who tampered with the solar cannon in the night was a, somebody who limped. So that was out of our suspects. That could be the inventor or Frolwa. A lady of the evening. I love it. Uh. Yeah, since... Hmm... I'm leaning for a law because... The inventor of the solar cannon... Did not seem... While well, he was... More concerned with his work getting... Noticed, he did not seem... To... Really... 
care one way or the other. And like if he was put, I feel like if he was putting on a facade, uh, he would have been all like, oh my, how dare, this couldn't possibly have been you, you know, that kind of a thing. Rather than a, I mean, silver lining. <laughs> Uh... Yeah, I'm leaning for a while. It's a veteran of the Corsican campaign. And his military prowess is only my time by is much scientific too important to answer important in chemistry questions. and ballistics. Address yourself to my aide de camp. It was a stupid mistake. My only thought was to disrupt an experiment. But I am the most deserving scientist. Just look at how ingenious was my plot. So he confessed. <coughs> he was trying to disrupt the uh it was a stupid mistake. My only thought was to disrupt an experiment. But I am the most deserving scientist. Gaspard's genius was my plot. experiment. He was trying to uh disrupt Gaspard's experiment, but uh the victim just happened to be in the way. Any fool could have figured that one out, I imagine. Still, take a weapon if you like. Ooh, a blunderbuss. Okay. Well, it's 10 o'clock, so we're going to call it there. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out. Uh, sh everybody, shame Yvonne B for not helping me solve these murders. No, don't really. Leave her alone. She's great. Um, I'm just being an asshole. Uh, but, uh, yeah, thanks for, every thanks for hanging out and tuning in. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more Tomb Raider Underworld. Um, we're, we're definitely going to finish Tomb Raider Underworld tomorrow. Um, I do not know what I'm going to do after Tomb Raider Underworld. Uh, I do not want to just dive into the next, uh, next Tomb Raider game. <sighs> but, um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe I'll just throw on some Sonic or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll be back with Tomb Raider Tuesday tomorrow. So, um, yeah, before we head out, be sure to check out these amazing people up here, which includes Phoenix Rose, Melador219, and Yvonne B, all of which have been in our chat at one point or another. Um, they're all great. You should absolutely check them out. I have even more recommendations in that link tree below. And also in that link tree, there's links to my socials, my Discord, my YouTube, my Patreon, my throne. Basically, places where you can contact me, hang out with me, or support me. Um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, there's also my, pa the Patreon link is also on screen right there if anybody wants to just go straight to that. <laughs> um so yeah if you don't want to that's fine like just just to be clear it's fine if you can't or don't want to money is money you know it, it's a thing i don't I, I won't hold it against you one way or the other but um yeah thanks for tuning in thanks for hanging out like i said we'll be back tomorrow so until then remember to have empathy be kind be safe love yourselves and love everyone around you and i will see you all tomorrow i love you all peace out